we have almost 4,000 jobs available for students on campus. What does the salary package do the students get? We don't require letter of recommendation. We don't require personal statement. We don't require any we of We had a few students who got into uh, uh, Amazon with a very great package of minimum of... Hi, Taylor. Hello. Yeah. So why does student have to come to Oregon State University? Well, we have, Oregon State University has a huge range of programs. So pretty much anything a student's interested in studying, we have. And in certain areas, we have very highly ranked programs. For example, all of our engineering programs are top 100. Our business is also right around 100. So we have some extremely highly ranked programs. In mm -hmm. terms of getting in, they're very easy. So. For our business programs, we don't require that. We just right. need their university grades, an English grade. For our engineering programs, we don't require the CRE. So they can go directly into an engineering master's that's a top 100 program in the US. They don't have to take GRE. Uh, it's not competitive, meaning if they meet entry requirements, they will be admitted. So all we need, again, is their university grades and an English test. So it's, it's a very simple application process compared to many other universities. When the student wants to get into an Oregon university, so what is the eligibility criteria they have to meet to get into a, a computer science exam? That is a famous program where every student wants to go for it. Sure. So it's quite simple. All we require is their university grades. So for us, we need a 3.0 GPA. So from an Indian university, that's about a 60 out of 100 or probably close to a 7.0 out of 10. Mm -hmm. Depends on their university scale. And then we need an English test. So it could be TOEFL 80, IELTS 6.5, or Duolingo 110. And that's all we need. We don't require letter of recommendation. We don't require personal statement. We don't require any of those things. They just need those two things to be able to apply. Okay, for all the programs? Yes, for all of our engineering and business. Correct, exactly. Okay. Any students who'd like to go to a university uh, where it is surrounded by the companies so they can do a lot of networking and get a job opportunities. Mm -hmm. So when it comes to Oregon University, how the student find their job opportunities? Previous, I, I would agree that I don't know, 15 years ago or 20 years ago, the location of the university was extremely important. So if you were studying in New York City, it, you would have access to all these companies that are around the university and all that. But that's changed just like we were talking about AI before. How most people find jobs these days is not necessarily going knocking on doors and things like that it's finding jobs online so mm -hmm. it in a sense it doesn't matter where the university is because most jobs are found online anyway so these days a lot of people are finding jobs online uh, they're attending whether that's a virtual career fair or just applying through the internet so the, the location of the university I would say first of all that's not as important as it used to be but second even if you do take that into consideration Oregon has a huge amount of especially tech jobs available. What does the salary package do the students get? It really depends because, you know, it depends on what they've studied, it depends on what level, all that. But I can tell you two things. One, our undergraduate students who graduate with their bachelor's degree, their average salary is $20,000 higher than the average national salary. And two, for any master's of engineering students, so any student getting a graduate degree in computer science or civil engineering, or whatever it is, the average salary from Oregon State is $100,000. Oh, okay, okay. So we had a few students who got into uh, um, Amazon with a very great package of minimum of $130,000 to $200,000 and added to that bonus and all these things, they've got a very good opportunities. Uh, so coming back to, uh, to the universities, uh, so whether the students are able to get a part-time job within the campus? Yes, any international students are allowed to work on campus in the US. They can work up to 20 hours per week on campus. A lot of students, when they hear on campus, they get worried that there's not going to be a lot of opportunities. We have almost 4,000 jobs available for students on campus. So any student who wants to find a job can find a job. At any given time, we have two to 300 open positions on campus. Some of those are academic and related to their major. They could work in laboratories. Uh, 
IT, every department in the university needs IT technicians and things like that. So some of them are related to their studies and majors. Some of them are not. Coffee shops, the recreation center, the library. So what I tell students is if they want to find a job, they can definitely find a job. What type of job, I can't guarantee, but I can guarantee they can find a job. And then one last thing, Oregon is on the West Coast. West Coast states are a little more progressive. The average salary for part-time workers, for students on campus, is $15 to $17 per hour. So oh, okay. students can easily earn more than $10,000 just with their part-time job yeah. per year. Even they can pay one semester fee also. Close, almost, yeah, close. Yeah, 10,000 is, is close to one term uh, of tuition, yeah, not too far away. Right. If a students want to go for a particular course, Oregon University is the best. Which course do you think? Well, like I said, our, our engineering programs are extremely highly ranked. We get, a, we get almost half a billion, that's with a B, uh, dollars of research funding annually. So we have massive laboratories and facilities in all kinds of different areas. If this is my one of my favorite question and all the uh, students are uh, want to know about us. Uh, whether the university matters a lot in getting a job or a student profile. I mean, obviously it's definitely both, but what I would say about universities is, as you said before, there's 4,000 universities in the U.S. And what a lot of people don't realize is many of these universities, just like Oregon State, I said we're really strong in engineering and science programs. Companies will know that. When they see a student who's graduated from Oregon State and is coming to apply with a computer science degree or a civil engineering degree, environmental engineering degree, wh whatever it is, they know that Oregon State University is a very good university for that. So that certainly helps students when they're looking for jobs and, and trying to find employment. But of course, it also depends on the student. Uh, the, better, the better the student, was while they were studying and it's not just their GPA but it's also what research, what activities, what other things have they done just besides their GPA. Um, so all of that will come into play but, but companies in certain industries will know which universities are strong in those areas. Okay. So both values a lot. Yeah. What is the difference that makes Ivy League University the top university than other university? Well, unfortunately, a lot of it is just based on reputation. I mean, they're, they're very good universities, um, but there's a lot of other very good universities as well. And this year uh, is the first time in a very long time that a lot of rankings changed substantially. And I'm talking about overall rankings. And that's because too much of the ranking criteria in the past was based on reputation. A lot of the, the ranking in the past was based on surveys of university presidents and high school guidance counselors in the US just asking them what do you think the best university is what do they think about what the best university? That, that doesn't have anything to do with right. the facilities and what's happening with the students and the education that's just based on their heart or their mind and, and what they think so a lot of that's been changed which is why this year the rankings a lot of universities made big leaps up or down in the rankings so Ivy League I mean it's just prestige um, and also, it's definitely success begets success. If you have people coming out of the university who are successful, they're going to be in positions to hire people from those universities later, and that's not a bad thing. Um, but that, that network is very powerful, and, and it definitely exists and definitely helps those students. So that's certainly a big reason that they continue to be successful, is they have that network of people who've graduated from there and help each other out. and. They're very good universities, so hiring people from those universities makes sense, but they'll, they'll look for those connections and connections. networks as well, yeah. Okay, okay. So uh, when we talk about Oregon State Universities, whether the student get a, a return on investment in a year or two, how do you think on that part? Well, Oregon State University, if, if it's an, let's say it's an engineering student, the average salary is 100000 per year, average, starting salary just out of school. Our master's programs in engineering cost somewhere between sixty to seventy thousand total tuition for the entire program. So within the first year, they've already earned back more than their entire tuition. Within three years, they're earning. Th if they do three years of o OPT, that's three hundred thousand dollars. They've already earned five times more than they spent on their entire degree. So the return on investment should happen very, very fast. Fast. 
can you uh, name uh, some companies uh, top tier companies that the student got recruited uh, from Oregon state sure University? i mean i i can tell you companies specifically just for international students so just for international students we have students working for amazon tesla walmart intel hp uh, god there's so many more i got to think of them uh boeing um Texas Instruments, Walmart, Target. Uh, yeah, those are the ones that popped into my head. But SpaceX, SpaceX recruits from around 10 universities in the US mm -hmm. where they will actually mm -hmm. go to their career fairs and re actively recruit students. Mm -hmm. We are one of their universities. Okay. So when we have career fairs, SpaceX comes to our university to recruit students. Um, but yeah, it's, it's a whole bunch of students. Okay. Or, sorry, companies. Yeah, thank you very much. Yeah, sure. Thank, Thank you, you for your time. Thank Thanks. You.